What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Underappreciated Games. Today, I want to talk about Tomb Raider, the, the last game, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Or, and basically, it's one of those games where a lot of people are not high on it. And it's kind of weird to me because when I played it, I enjoyed it. You know, I think a lot of people were looking for too much into it. But as an overall game, I thought it was very enjoyable. I thought the story was, was fun. I thought it was interesting. I, again, the graphics for all three games are kind of exactly the same. So if you think the first two games had good visuals, then the, the third game also has good visuals. Um, and it's the cinematics in Shadow, Shadow of the Tomb Raider is probably one of the best cinematics that the entire series has had. From from you know the fire, from the helicopter scenes, the water scenes, all the cinematics in, in the game are phenomenal. And again, Camila Luddington, she did a great job um, voice acting. So I don't see why people are so down on it. I think most people, when they again, they expected something different. They wanted to see a return to the traditional Laura Croft with her dual pistols, things like that. But, you know, this isn't the same Tomb Raider that you're used to. And I kind of feel like nostalgia is blinding people from enjoying this series in general. Because people are used to that old school Tomb Raider, the old short shorts, Laura Croft with the, you know, the the huge breast and tight shirt and the dual pistols. People are used to that. But this Tomb Raider is not that Tomb Raider. She's more practical. She's more realistic and is more open world. And especially when it comes to the mechanics and how the weapons play. You know, if you're doing what she she is doing, you're not going to just have dual pistols. You're going to have you know a bow. You're gonna have, you know, uh, rifles. You're gonna have shotguns. Especially if you're going against a militia, you're gonna be able to pick those weapons up. You're gonna need, need to get some ammo. You're gonna need to have different forms of combat in order to make your game, you know, enjoyable and more spread across instead of just here's just one weapon type and that's it. So I think like nostalgia definitely blinds people on being able to enjoy, you know, this series the way they could because to me, this is the best Twitter has ever been. Like not just this one game, but the entirety of these the, this trilogy is the best Tomb Raider experience in my opinion. And I've played the old school Tomb Raider games. I'm I'm, I'm 27 years old, so I've been around uh, long enough when it comes to this franchise to to have experienced it. And I've seen I've even watched the old Angel and Julie movies. Like I've seen those. Like this is this this game is the best experience you can get when it comes to Tomb Raider. You know, every, from 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 bottom from top to bottom, it's a great series it's a good game even this game is a good game yeah like yes the villain's kind of weak do they could did a better job with the villain but for the most part you know it doesn't drag the game down it's still a good game it's still a great game I still enjoyed every moment that I, that I had playing it and if you didn't try it out it's on it's in game pass so if you're on pc or xbox you can go get game pass and be able to to, to play the game for very cheap um, it's a good experience, you know. Try it out; it's fun. And, and again, if you're, and if you tried it out and you didn't like it, I would say take off the nostalgia goggles and play it again. Play it with open mind. Play it with it. Play it. You know, playing it as its own entity of its own game and not, you know, the same as the the, the old PS One uh, Tomb Raider games. Open your mind. Like gamers aren't open minded when it comes to enjoying new stuff. Now, I said this a lot when it comes to Halo. People are closed minded when it comes to new mechanics and new things. And then when they go back to the old way, people are like, oh, this is the same thing from before. It, this isn't new. I want something new. Then you get that new, then you complain, oh, I don't like how new this is. I prefer the old mechanics. Now, be open minded. From Again, from head to toe, the landscape of this game. There's like there's very few games. Dragon Age is one. Um, Tomb Raider is another, The Witcher is another, Elder Scrolls is another, where you stop and just view the landscape of the game. You stop and just be in awe of how beautiful the surroundings is. And this is one of those games, it's one of those games, I said it before, like, you will live, there's a lot of times where I'm, I'm walking around doing missions, doing challenge tombs and, and you know, do, un, un, uncovering, you know, other tombs. And I stop and just stare at my surroundings because it's just a beautiful game. You know, there, I spent a lot of time. Like, this video, a lot of the clips you see in this video is actually just clips that I got while playing the game using the, the in game DVR. Not, not Twitch, not Elgato, the in game DVR because a lot of times I play playing, I'm like, yo, this scene is badass. And a lot of the, the new mechanics that they have in, in Shadow of the Tomb Raider. It's awesome, like you know the, the ability that you have to, when it comes to stealth kills 
and being able to like yank someone from a tree if you're in, you're in a tree and they come below you being able to yank them and pull them it's kind of similar to like assassin's creed 3 it's great like i don't i just don't see how people can dislike this game because again other than a weak villain i didn't come across anything in this game that was like uh it could have been better uh didn't like that uh that was stupid i liked everything i don't like platformers i don't like puzzles but I enjoy the platforming in this game. I employ, I enjoy the puzzles in this game. You know, they're actually challenging. And you know, as, as there's a few times where I was like, you know, I'm just going to look it up on Google because I couldn't figure it out. And that's good to have in a game that's, you know, Tomb Raider. You're going to need these puzzles. It's a game that's based on Indiana Jones. And th this series is, is what inspired, you know, this in Indiana Jones. It's what, what inspired things like Uncharted. But anyways, guys, this is the episode of uh, Underappreciated Games. Hope you all enjoyed. Leave any thoughts you have in the comments below. Um, hit the like button. Hit the follow. Hit the subscribe button. Help the channel grow. Follow me on Twitch. Link to that will be in the description box below. Um, hit me that my, my Twitch channel is steadily growing, so help me grow on there too. Let's get this place going. Hope you all enjoy your day. Peace out. What is that?
fucking dead. This is Rourke. I've been called back to camp. Winters, Croft is all yours. Run! 